Hey guys, how you doing? Gavin Timms with REI Network. Okay, on this video, I'm going to show you how to pull a list and skip trace it in batch leads, and you can start calling and texting today. Before we get going, if you haven't, if you want 5,000 free records that you can skip trace in any market across the United States, go to batchleads.io slash Gavin, batchleads.io slash Gavin. I'm currently working at a Starbucks in Tucson, Arizona. Uh, we just came in the RV. We're here for a wedding. Um, and again, still making things happen. That's why I love this business, doing it virtual, okay? And it starts with good data. So make sure you go to that link. I'm gonna share my screen right now, and I'm gonna show you how you can pull a list, skip trace it, and again, start calling and texting sellers today. Get some leads in and let's do some deals. Enjoy. Leads.io slash Gavin. If you use this link here, there'll be, there'll be a link on the page that you can click. Right now, as I'm recording this, and this will change, there is 5,000 properties, not like here, but there's 5,000 records, okay, properties, records, that you can download for free by using this link and you get a free seven-day trial. So you can pull them properties off. OK, uh, it is a paid service after that, but you can then skip trace them. So I'm going to show you how to actually pull a list in batch so you can get your free records and try it out. You've got nothing to lose by doing this because I would I would highly recommend sign up, getting your records, skip tracing them and get calling to bring in seller leads just like I did. So I'm going to now click over. This is my batch account. You can see that I have 45 over 45,000 properties in here to do list stacking. I'm not going to go into that. Uh, on this video, but I'm going to show you how to actually pull a list. So once you go in, okay, you're going to go to list search. I don't want to do my area. Well, actually, I could put my area in. This is my area here. So I could put in uh, a, um, a 31405, which is actually my zip code where I live. Uh, and it's just loading. Let's see what it brings up. All right, so there's 11,257 properties found in my zip code. Now, straight away, I could do fast searches by selecting at the bottom all these numbers here. So there's 2,970 absentee owned, but I haven't selected any criteria as yet. OK, so what I could do is um, I will go to filter. Up here and I'm now just going to create some criteria as I start to build it here these numbers will change and I'm going to start to add the, the criteria here in the middle as you see so I'm going to go um, status I want absentee owner I don't care if it's vacant or not so I'm going to do any uh, I'm going to do ownership info I'm going to do that they've owned it for 8 to 50 years I'm going to do individually owned okay and I can tick more of these if I wanted but I'm just going to do individually owned so I can get their first name and last name. And I can skip trace LLCs if I wanted. So I could do corporate if I, if I wanted to. I'm also going to do uh, equity. I want to do 40 to 100% equity. Um, and let's say that's enough. All right. That's all I need. So I'm going to apply filter. And then what's going to happen is it sorts through and loads. This number here, this 11,256 is going to change. So there's 42 properties in my zip codes based on the criteria of absentee owned, all right, that I want to pull. So what you do now, and this could be part of your 5,000, and I'm only pulling one zip code. You can pull by, again, the county. I can do multiple zip codes and, and stack them. So let's say this zip code is one that I wanted. I click over here to add. Oh, no, I don't. I click select all. I have to select them. Then I go to add. And it will bring this up. So now if I was stacking lip zip code on top and I was doing it one at a time, I could actually select another drop down list from here. Or I could say, no, I'm going to do a new list. I'm going to call this Savannah 31405. And now obviously I could have done this for Maui or Bama or Florida or Wyoming or anywhere I wanted. OK, so I'm going to select that, the list name. I could tag it if I wanted, but I'm not going to tag anything. Uh, and I'm now going to save. OK, so these properties are 42 now have been saved. So now if I go down here to properties, I should be able to um, 
do, 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 do. Go and select my list. Savannah 31405, apply filter. And here is my 42 properties, okay? That now I can skip trace. So I could select them and then skip trace them while they are in here, okay? Uh, and once I skip trace them, they're gonna bring me back the information. They're gonna bring me back the phone numbers because I don't have phone numbers right now. And I can actually uh, skip trace them all, okay? So if I select them, I can go to action. Um, -da -bum -bum. Filter, sorry, filter. I want to skip trace. Oh, there it is. I thought I missed it the first time. So skip trace. Okay. So I could skip trace 42 of them. It's going to cost me $4.20. Purchase the skip trace. I'm going to call this Savannah uh, Absent T31405 because I'm only doing that one zip. I want to purchase it. Um, uh, do I want to tag it? I'm not going to take a new tag. I'm just going to skip. I'm going to pay for my balance. I'm going to skip trace. And now I have run it through skip trace. Okay. So you can see here 42 and it's now telling me that it's in process. So when it comes back, it will throw that out and give me the skip trace files for me then to take them guys, you can run them, you know, through the node litigators, the DNC scrub, and you're going to load them into Mojo. Mojo is the cold calling software that I use. It's called an auto dialer. Okay. So we call Bama. I've done deals in, you know, in Georgia and Warner Robins, Atlanta, Augusta. Okay. Savannah, Florida, Maui, Mississippi. Um, and then what we do is we call on these lists, okay? And they get screened into a groups. So I can say, let's say when we call Maui, right? I've got wholesale, yes, so they're interested in selling. They might be interested in selling. So I could then group them from the main list into these, and then all the positive responses go over to the CRM, okay? Uh, and are worked by acquisition or business partner on the ground, okay? Depending on how you're set up. Now, remember, you can be calling in here or your uh, VAs can be calling. I use VAs uh, to be doing this. So let's say I select this part to Alabama list and I call it my, my person's on there. They have three lines and they have all these controls. Now, they're all currently on the dial list. So I can't show you any more than that. And I have a cold calling course uh, for this. It goes into way more detail, but I just wanted to show you, you know, real things that, that we actually use in the process. Um, and, and there's probably going to be another video that I do on this just solely. But yes, from this, you'll see here, we're waiting on, I'm going to just run a refresh, see if it came in yet. Awesome. So 42, we got a 100% hit rate. 42 records cost me 420 and now I can export them. Okay, so I'm going to export them. It's going to drop down. And I now have the data. This is now the file that I just downloaded. So there's 42 properties. Okay, and now I can sort them out. I've got the phone numbers here. I've got a lot of phone numbers that I can be calling. Right? A lot. Of phone numbers. Now, what you'll see on here is if it's a mobile or landline, okay, if it is the, the chances of the score, it's called, of how likely that this number is correct. And as you see, as it goes through and through number three, okay, it will start to go down as, as you go. There is up to like nine phone numbers that you can actually get. I normally only load the first three numbers. Uh, into the dialer, but again, you can call and text. I have the first name and last name, and have the property that they that uh, they're absentee on. Um, okay, for for me to obviously make them calls to see if they're interested uh, in. What did you think?
Easy as that, okay? You can pull by one zip code, multiple zip codes, cities, counties, okay? You can do tax delinquent, you can do absentee. You've got multiple lists that you can pull in your market. Again, starts with great data. Get it skip trace and get on the phone, okay? If you like this video, please give me a like, drop me a comment, and if there's any other content that you want to see, okay, drop it in the comments as well, and I'll be happy to do that for you. I appreciate you all, and I will see you on the next video. Appreciate you. Bye-bye.